Hello, and welcome to the Saigon Times News. My name is Devin Morrissey, and here are the top five socioeconomic news stories for this week. Local fuel prices rise for seventh straight time. Airfares for international flights surge. Central Bank says it will maintain Forex market stability. Government to pump 460 trillion Vietnam Dong into the Mekong Delta. Concerns raised over impact of global minimum corporate tax on foreign investor attraction. The domestic fuel retail prices have been revised up for the seventh straight time this year. Biofuel E5 Ron 92 rose by 190 Vietnam Dong per liter to 31,300 Vietnam Dong, while the standard Ron 95 petrol jumped by 500 Vietnam Dong to 32,870 Vietnam Dong per liter. Kerosene and diesel oil now sell for 28,780 Vietnam Dong and 30,010 Vietnam Dong per liter, up 950 Vietnam Dawn and 990 Vietnam Dawn, respectively. Heavy fuel oil edged up 380 Vietnam Dawn per kilogram to 20,730 Vietnam Dawn. During this fuel price adjustment, no surcharges were imposed on E5 Ron 92, Ron 95, diesel oil, and kerosene to replenish the fuel price stability fund but heavy fuel oil is subject to a surcharge of 300 Vietnam Dong a kilo. Airfares for flights to tourist destinations in Asian, European and American countries have soared by 20 to 35 percent against the pre-pandemic levels. A representative of World Transportation Services, JSC, attributed the hike to the fuel price increase. The fuel costs account for 30 to 60 percent of airlines' annual operation costs. At present, tickets for flights from Ho Chi Minh City to South Korea, Europe, and the United States cost 9 to 13 million Vietnam Dong, 18 to 27 million Vietnam Dong, and 41 to 51 million Vietnam Dong each, respectively. Air tickets offered by Viet Travel Airlines have also risen day by day. The airfare was 2.4 million Vietnam Dong for Ho Chi Minh City, Singapore flights, departing on June 30th, and over 4 million Vietnam Dong for those departing on July 8th. Similarly, the ticket for Ho Chi Minh City to the Netherlands flights in early July costs over 20 million Vietnam Dong, but the price will soar to 42 million Vietnam Dong for flights at the end of the month. The State Bank of Vietnam will likely pump more foreign currencies this year to keep the Forex market stable as the recent interest rate hike by the U.S. Fed is piling pressure on the domestic market. Pham Chi Wang, Deputy Director of the Monetary Policy Department under the SBV, said given foreign reserves exceeding 100 billion U.S. dollars, the central bank has been selling the greenback to keep the domestic Forex market stable. In the coming time, the SBV will increase the frequency of market intervention to spur forex supply for domestic demand, Wayne said. By boosting forex supply, the central bank will enable credit institutions to promptly meet the demand for foreign currency, he said. Some 460 trillion Vietnam Dong sourced from the state budget will be invested in various projects in the Mekong Delta in the 2021-2025 period. At a conference in Canta City on June 21st, Minister of Planning and Investment Win Chi Yun said that of the total capital, 320 trillion Vietnam Dong would be invested in numerous projects in the region, up 23.3% against the 2016-2020 allocation. The remaining 140 trillion Vietnam Dong will flow into some ministries to boost the region's development. The capital allocation will help complete several key regional projects, such as Chun Lun Mi Tuan, Can Te, Can Te Khao Mau and Chao Doc, Can Te Sok Chain Expressways, National Highways, Seaside Roads, 
airports, and salinity control. The funding is expected to fuel the region's socioeconomic growth, which will make the Mekong Delta region greener and more sustainable and adapt to climate change. Many experts have voiced their concern over the impact of the global minimum corporate tax on Vietnam's foreign investor attraction. Late last year, 137 out of 141 countries and territories under the inclusive framework of BEPS, including Vietnam, reached an agreement on the application of the global minimum corporate tax from late 2023. Accordingly, companies with global revenue of 750 euros and above each will be subject to a 15% tax rate. Win Thi Minh Hien, former economic counselor at the Vietnamese Embassy in the United States, forecast that Vietnam would face challenges in attracting large foreign companies. Tax incentives remain the key to help Vietnam attract foreign investment. The global minimum tax corporate tax rate will limit the use of tax incentives. Annette Pershman Tubart from PwC said Vietnam's tax incentives were no longer attractive and foreign investors might choose other countries. That's all from us here at the Saigon Times News. Thank you very much and see you next week.